these niggas turn fake as that's Hey guys, it's your girl Lil Queen period and today guys I'm back with another video So today guys as you can see by the title today I'm going to be making some carrot cake for my dad's birthday So before I get the video make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe and hit that bell So first I'm going to be getting some carrots I'm gonna get six. This is too tiny, so I'm gonna get some other ones. Let's get this one. Uh, this one, two, three. They said about five to six. Four, five. I'm gonna take this big large one. Yeah, that's enough. Now I'm going to be washing them. I'm, then I'm going to be grating them. So let's go with my grater. Oops. I'm going to try to show you guys easier. So guys I finished doing the carrot and I don't know why but it's just like look it's not like carrot texture because I did wash it before but like that doesn't mean it should get like this but at least it will make the cake really moist that's why you should always wash your fruits that you're gonna put in your cake so it can make it moist It looks like a smoothie. Moving on to the next thing. Guys, I've got two pounds here and now I'm going to be greasing it with some oil. Some in there. Oops. Don't you think that's a bit too much? And I'm going to use my spatula to spread it around because I do not have a pastry brush. Oops. I'm just going to transfer the oil into that next one. So just spread this around. Put it on the sides. Then I'm going to be getting some soft rising flour. And guys, I got some oil, I mean, some flour, and I'm just going to be, let me show you guys properly. I'm going to be spreading it around, because as well as you want to grease it as well, you don't want it to stick to the oil. So guys, they're greased, and I'm going to be moving on to the next thing. So now I'm going to get my big bowl and in here you'll need two cups of flour. So I've got my measuring cups and I'm going to be measuring out the flour. Anyways guys, I'm not going to show any more of me baking the, well I will. Don't worry guys, so this is the carrot cake 
string, I mean the cups, and I'm just going to pour two cups in here, that's one cup. And that's two cups. Done. Then, now I'm going to be adding some salt. That's enough salt, right? I'm going to be adding some salt. Now I'm going to be adding some cinnamon. And I'm going to be adding some nutmeg. You don't want too much nutmeg because this could actually stop the self rising in the self rising flour. So I'm just gonna mix that all in. guys I'm gonna add one and a quarter cups of oil so I'm just gonna pour it in here the cup and that is one cup of oil and now time for the quarter but now guys I'm gonna move on to my mixer that you guys would have seen in my recent video so make sure you guys go watch that this is the quarter so yeah guys that's that and i'm going to move on to my mixer so I just need to dust that out so now it's home. It's the boys looking like money right from my head down to my feet. And she just smile at me. I don't really know what it means. See, I'm in a bit of a limbo. Still, I will make a move on this young lady. Now I need to add one cup of light brown soft sugar. Actually, I'm going to do half um brown sugar. That's what they said. Half brown sugar half granulated sugar so I just open that I'm gonna look by eye because that's fine with me that's about a half so no more than this I used to actually love eating brown sugar I don't know why. It just bangs better than white sugar. I'm not trying to be racist or anything here. But it's just too good. Now, I'm going to be adding the granulated sugar. So, I've got the granulated sugar here. And I want exactly one cup for this one because I about to get diabetes today, bruh. So that's like half a cup. Oof. That looks like so much sugar, don't you think? I'm going to scrape the rest of the sugar out of here. Okay, now time to mix. How well does your BFF know you? Now 
now guys i think it's time to add the vanilla i'm going to be adding one two four Long hair, brown eyes, shorty look like Selena. Shorty said that she was Puerto Rican. Her pussy wet like Katrina. Adding the eggs one by one. So I'm gonna be mixing it one at a time. Now time for the next egg. Mix. Now time to add the last egg. No? So that's enough for my mixer. And I'm going to move back to my spatula to stop so I don't overmix. I'm going to scrape the sides. This looks like a good cake butter, doesn't it? You guys could never. Ooh, this looks so good and creamy, bruh. You guys could never. It looks like Quindabet. Kinder Bonnet. Okay, guys, now I'm going to be adding the grated carrots. Oh my gosh, it's stuck to the thing. It's like a paste. I guess I'll have to dig them with my hands. Guys, sorry if I'm acting a bit too low, coffee. So I just quickly wash my hands and now I'm going to be mixing the carrot in. This is all about carrots, so there has to be carrots. You can't have a carrot cake without any carrots. And on top of that note, I'm going to be adding a bit more cinnamon. Because usually when I make carrot cake, it's not this light. So I'm going to be adding more cinnamon just because it looks correct. So guys, while that's going, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 180 degrees at yeah 180 degrees celsius for about yeah that's 360 fahrenheit for i'm gonna preheat it for like five minutes before i put it in it's probably gonna take me five minutes to pour it in the pans so yeah guys focus now i'm gonna be pouring it into the cake tin so guys, I have my first tin here prepared, and I'm going to be pouring it in. Let me show you guys better. That's about enough for the first tin, you think? 
second tin here. Which one looks higher? That one looks higher, so I'm gonna add more to this one. It hasn't even been preheating for five minutes, it's been preheating for like two minutes now. So I'm gonna bake it for 35 to 40 minutes. So see you guys when it's done. Let me do a cool transition this time. Three, two, one, go. You lot. I'm so sorry. I literally forgot to record the whole process of me stacking the cake with the cream and the coconut and everything. And I've already made the cream and stuff. And so I'm just going to show you guys, show you me piping it. So, wait. Let me show you guys how I do my piping bag. Okay, pretend like I never just said anything I said. The pressure was just too much, guys. I forgot to record. Okay. So now I'm going to be putting my piping tip on. So I'm going to unscrew this. And I'm going to put the bottom bit into the piping bag. And this is a reusable piping bag. So don't think, why is it wet and stuff? It's reusable. But like the clear ones are not reusable. So don't reuse them, that's just disgusting and unhygienic. Then I put my tip on like that. Then I screw this on so it can stay in place. And that's the piping bag done. Then I get a mug, put the tip in. Then I just find the mouth. And what I mean by mouth is this bit. So that's basically the mouth where the food is going to be going into. Then I'm going to get the cream sorted and then I'm going to do um, the drip and the thing i didn't do the drip on camera guys because yeah part of the same reason i forgot to record it and stuff so yeah guys now i'm going to be coloring this orange you guys must be thinking oh, why is it so tough look it's so tough i can literally form it into a dough in my hands lich I've never made like buttercream does gone this stiff before. Look, this is buttercream, you guys. So I'm gonna be, as you like mix it up, it's gonna get soft to melt. So I'm gonna add red and yellow coloring guys guess what happened my spat guys that's what happened my spatula broke but i don't know why it looks like this in the camera but it looks lighter in the camera but this looks like a really good orange but it just keeps looking light in the camera like this is not my actual shade guys it just looks lighter so my spatula broke so I'm just using the stick and it's because of how thick it was but this looks yeah, good this has good consistency don't mind guys my brother has his friend over and he's making so much noise just because he's never had one of his friends over I stop hate. making noise king I'm making a video and you know that yeah. so 
this is what it looks like and i'm going to be putting it into the piping bag with you guys i just need to add these Guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. So, it's really Period. <laughs> It's looking for you, Simon. What these niggas tell fake us that?